Hello everyone. Today's painting is uh, Through Emily's Eyes. Um, this painting has a lot of meaning to me. Uh, it's neat the way that it kind of came about. Uh, it means a lot in my kind of development as an artist. You know, there are these hinge paintings that I call, you know, paintings where you challenge yourself in a way and, and everything seems to work out. Uh, this is definitely one of those paintings. So through Emily's eyes, um, I finished this painting on May 5th um, of 2020. Uh, we're in the middle of the pandemic. I had started it in 2019. It's, it was kind of an ongoing thing just because of the scale and the amount of detail and how how much time it was going to take. And also that it, was, it wasn't commissioned. So non-commissioned paintings sometimes take a little bit longer. They end up in the shop a lot longer than uh, some of the other paintings that have deadlines on them. But in any event, I finished it in May uh, on 20, in 2020. Um, the size of the actual painting is four and a half inches by two and a half inches. And um, the story behind this is uh, my daughter, Emily, um, who was a theater major in college, had been going back and forth to New York. And on one of her trips, she snapped an amazing picture of lower Manhattan. And at just at, just at dusk, the sun had just kind of gone below the or was just going below the horizon so it was, it was pretty pretty amazing so I asked if I could use the uh, photograph and she said yes so the result is this painting uh, and I'm gonna get you close <clears throat> a little bit closer to it you can kind of see some of the details in this so this painting is all acrylic paints um, I use a brand of acrylic paints um, from a company called Createx and the paint line that they have is uh, uh, that I use is called Wicked and uh, it's a nice paint in that it, it can be airbrushed and I also find I can do a lot of great details with uh, a paintbrush with it as well so it opens up a lot of things with with the way that I paint so um, and actually I'll get you even closer for this one give you an idea what's going on in this and the way I do these is basically block them off using um, photocopies. So I'll cut out basic values out of the photocopy, get those basic values in, and then go back in and paint all the details with both paintbrush and a little bit of airbrush. So you can see a combination of both, like right here, on this little orange building right here. So obviously the window lines are painted with a paintbrush, but that dark fade from the bottom going up into the building that's all airbrush so it's nice it's a little bit of both and when you mix both tools you get you get a really neat effect so this series of landscape paintings um, there that I've started they're all the same scale they're all four uh, four and a half inches by two and a half inches uh, and uh, I really like that format because when you have them all together, it makes a really nice series. Uh, and for no other reason, you know, really than that. Plus, you know, from a practical standpoint, um, the prints that are made from this frame out really nicely in standard frames as well. So the frame on this has a great story too, the background anyway. So the, the frame itself is um, a shadowed box, uh, Siriari rosewood frame. Uh, and. Serari Rosewood is um, not really Rosewood family, it's actually closer to Babinga, but um, it's a South American hardwood that has this wonderful orange color, and as it ages it actually gets darker. So I knew that that orange would, would just play really well with the, with the painting. The background, and I try to do this a lot um, with paintings, the background is, uh, was, is actually ground up asphalt from Fifth Avenue. And uh, I have a, a friend and fellow artist who uh, heard that I needed a little bit of help procuring <laughs> some asphalt from uh, New York City. Uh, so he was kind enough to send me a couple pieces, uh, which which worked out really well. So I ground it up and adhered to adhere them to the backdrop of the of the uh, painting. So now you have Lower Manhattan, and you actually have New York City asphalt behind it. So it has reflection control glass on it, which keeps that the reflections low, does not resist fingerprints though. <laughs> uh, and there's also, I, I've been doing this a lot lately too, I put a 24 karat gold leaf border around the painting 
Um, it just it's that panel helps to really set set off the painting, and I haven't found a color scheme that that gold really doesn't work with yet. So I'm really happy with that. So you, I'm seeing a lot more. I'm framing a lot more paintings with that 24 karat gold leaf border, which is which is cool. So that is. Uh, through Emily's eyes. Uh, the total overall size is uh, six and a half by eight and a half inches, uh, and it's about an inch thick. This is probably, yeah, this is, this is a little bit over an inch thick. And that's the shadow box in order to get the, the painting to float above like that. So with this, um, with this painting as well, um, I had prints made, and these are G-clay prints of, of the actual painting, <clears throat> of the painting. Um, and they are actual size and these are available on the website as well so you can also check those out so if you don't want the original if you'd like something a little bit more affordable then the prints are available they came out great they really did They're extremely actually let me do it this way so you can see it they are extremely detailed did a great job and they are all signed too that is the print. So that is through Emily's eyes. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, please leave them below. If you uh, if you're new here, uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, tell your friends. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the follow, and um, I really appreciate you guys appreciate you guys hanging out with me and uh, and checking out my artwork. So I will. Um, I will see you guys all soon with another painting, and uh, you guys all take care, stay safe, and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.